Hello students once again welcome to Bhulanath Academy in this video students we are going to see the 18 electron rule in organometallic chemistry okay students what is 18 electron rule students in organometallic chemistry metal atom or ion will accept as many ligands in organometallic chemistry students metal atom or ion will accept as many ligand till the total number of electrons the total number of electron in outermost cell that is ns2 NP6 and N minus 1D10 is 18 to form the stable configuration. Understanding students, so metal atom or ion will accept as many ligand till the total number of electron in outermost orbit is equal to what? 18 to form the stable configuration. If the configuration is stable, then the organometallic compound will be stable. Understanding students, the 18 electron rule states that the total number of electrons acquired the total number of electrons acquired by the metal through covalent or coordinate bonding with the ligands plus the total number of original electrons in n minus 1d ns and np orbital of the metal should be equals to the 18 that is prior to the complexion should be equals to 18 in any of the stable complexes of the metal if the metal is forming the complex students when there will be what 18 electron in the outermost cell understanding students along with the ligands now, now students in octahedral complexes students when metal and there is what six ligands that is called as what octahedral complexes ml6 in octahedral complexes the most stable electronic arrangement is one in which the t2g orbital are fully occupied along with all the bonding molecular orbital say for example a1g t1u and eg molecular orbitals and anti bonding molecular orbitals should be remain vacant understanding then we can say the complex will be stable this means that the complex are considered to be what stable one when the lower nine molecular orbitals are filled with the 18 electrons the ligands which are high in the spectrochemical series are good pi acceptors understanding students we are talking about what metal now example students say for example carbonyl and nitrosyl is a ligands ligands stabilize t2g orbital effectively leading to a large delta o or in other word increase the bond energy understanding students the ligand stabilizes t2g orbital leading to large delta o the eg antibonding orbital is not occupied because the electron get paired up in t2g orbital understanding students eg antibonding orbital is not occupied because the electrons get paired up in t2g orbitals the electron in the valence cell of the atom in some of the complexes is as follows students here we have giving the examples we are going to see the examples of complexes first complex students here the metal and ligands are here the iron when you see the complex students the here the metal will be what iron fe now how many electrons it has in valence cell students it will have six electrons now when you're talking about here ligand students here four carbonyl ligands are there they will donate two two electron that is total eight electrons bromine students bromide will give two two electron that will become four electrons when you add these two electron it is equals to what 18 electron understanding students now you know the atomic number of iron that is 26 the outermost orbit will have what six electrons understanding in valence cell so when you add all these electrons students now it, the total el electrons are how many 18 electrons that means this complex is what stable complex now in second example students when you are talking about in this complex here the hydrogen will donate one electron here the manganese students will donate seven electron and carbonyl carbonyl will donate 10 electrons when you add this electron students 1 plus 7 plus 10 will be 18 electrons that means this complex will be stable one more example students we can see here here in this complex third complex students here the metal you have molybdenum it will give six electron the six electrons are present in the valence cell carbonyl will provide two two electron that means total how many carbonyls are there students so three carbonyls are there total six electron now here you have triphenyl phosphine triphenyl phosphine will donate two two electrons total how many students three so it will provide six electrons when you add all there will be what 18 electrons that means this complex is what having the stable configuration so this complex is what stable now coming to the fourth example students here the metal you have manganese one plus understanding so it will donate six electron it will have six electron in the valence cell Chloro chloride will provide two electrons and carbonyl will provide 10 electrons, 5 carbonyl will give you 10 electrons. When you add students electron, here will be what 18 electrons. This is the stable electronic configuration. Because of the stable electronic configuration, students, this complex is what stable. Now, students, we can see one more example, students. This is the ferrocene students. Here, the metal you have iron, 
will be always in a plus two state. So electronic configuration students in outermost orbit in valence cell you will find six electrons. Now students you have what cyclopenta dienyl. There is two cyclopenta dienyl. So it will gives you twelve because you are in the cyclo two ring of the cyclopenta dienyl. They will gives you twelve electrons. When you add students they will be what eighteen electrons. That is why this ferrocin is very stable complex. Now coming down to the sixth example students here you have rhenium one plus. Outermost valence cell will have six electrons. Carbo five carbonyl will provide ten electrons, and phosphorus trifluoride will provide you two electrons. And there is a zero charge when you add electrons. When you add, there is what eighteen electrons because the plus will not having any electrons. So here we have put zero. When you add electrons, electrons six plus ten plus two will be eighteen. So this will also fo follow the eighteen electron rule. So therefore, this complex is what stable. Now electrons, metal with zero oxidation state. Having odd number of electron cannot satisfy eighteen electron rule, hence they are not expected to be stable. C students in this complex students, manganese will have seven electrons, and five carbonyl will provide ten electrons. When you add students seven plus ten electrons, there is what seventeen electrons. That means this complex made up with zero oxidation state students, they are not following the eighteen electron rule. Therefore, they are what? They are not st stable complex. Understanding? Now here students here. Cobalt will provide nine electron and four carbonyl will gives you eight electron when you add students here total seventeen electrons. So, so this complex will be not stable. Understanding? Because they are not following the eighteen electron rules. Understanding students? Now students, when you, however there are anions, there are anions. Students be, because it it has got negative charge and there are anions cobalt tetra carbonyl minus here manganese penta carbonyl minus here car, cobalt tetra carbonyl minus respectively are found to be stable. These complexes are stable. This is because one electron from the charge, when added to the above total of the seventeen electrons, now make it eighteen electrons. Hence, it is what stable. Now, this complex, which is anion complex, students. Now, this complex is stable. Why? Because now here, when you are talking about uh, magnesium metal, metal students, it will donate seven electron. Five carbon will donate ten electrons, and then because of this, the negative charge will carry one electrons. When you add students, total eighteen electrons. That means that is why this anion complex is what stable complex. Understanding students? Now similarly here also students cobalt will have nine electrons, four carbonyl will gives you eight electrons and because of there is one negative charge students because of that there is one electrons when you add students total number of electrons is eighteen therefore this complex is what stable complex and which is the anion complex the dimers of complexes M N two C O ten these are the dimers because there is what two magnes magnes atom understanding there is two magnes atom that is why we call as what dimers here students we have two cobalt so that is why it is also a what dimer. Respectively, are also stable as the electron counting gives total eighteen electron from each of the metal. Understands when you see the dimer of this students. Now students in this complex students two manganese will gives you fourteen electrons and ten carbonyl will provide you twenty electrons and manganese manganese students bond will be there and because of that students you have two electrons. When you add the electrons students total number is becoming thirty six. This is for two manganese. Now when you are talking about one manganese it will becomes eighteen electron. So here also students eighteen electrons rule is satisfied. That is why these dimers are stable. Understanding students. Coming down to this next example students here, here you have two cobalt students. Two cobalt will have eighteen electron in the valence cell. Eight carbon will provide you sixteen electron in the complex. And cobalt cobalt bond provide two electrons. When you add students, there will be thirty six electron in these dimers. Now when you are talking about the per atom students, cobalt will have eighteen electron. That is why this complex is also stable. The dimers of this complex is stable. So these are very important students for the examination point of view. I have explained this way you have to write in examination. I am sure you will get the full marks. If you like my video, please share it, subscribe it. Thank you, thank you very much. Have a nice day. God bless you. Next video, students, we are going to see 16 electron rule. We will see in next video. Okay, students.